But what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video you can watch me find outsources for my social media marketing agency. No, I don't waste no time. okay guys welcome to the video now before we actually begin i do want to mention that i do not outsource uh, the facebook ads side of things for my agency um, i do all the media buying and uh, facebook ads fulfillment uh, myself for my own agency um, so the clients ads etc are done by me the way my agency is structured is that the front end is completely outsourced and or automated which means that um, the outreach to clients the calls with clients um, and getting the clients in so the sales part etc that is completely outsourced and or automated and then from there once i get the clients in i do the fulfillment so i get the results for the clients um the reason why this has sort of become the way it it, or the way it's you know basically gone the way it has gone is because i noticed that the result part was something that my agency struggled with so i used to outsource my clients i didn't get the results for the clients that i wanted and that the clients wanted and the clients would leave after a certain period of time i think the average lifetime value of my clients prior to me actually taking over the ads myself was roughly four to five months so after four to five months the client would leave and i'd have to go and find another client all over again which in my opinion if you want to scale your business is not sustainable because you're constantly on the lookout you're constantly in the trenches finding more clients because that back door is wide open so clients come in and you know four or five months later the client goes out as well so i want to keep that back door shut and i just you know decided there and then that okay i need to start doing the media buying myself or at least having an adequate amount of knowledge on media buying so that i know if my media buyers so the people i outsource the ads to are doing a good job then i realized that i was actually getting better results for my clients than my outsourcers and then i just decided to uh, do all the media buying myself and i very much enjoy every single day you know doing it getting the results etc and um, it's very fulfilling and the things that i like less are the agency so the outreach and the sales part like i said is outsourced and automated so no more like stress about that i can just focus on what i enjoy doing and that is uh, getting uh, results for my clients but in this video because i do understand that a lot of you guys do not like the facebook ads part of it do not understand the facebook ads part of it or just don't you know just don't really want to do it you want to work on the business rather than in the business etc um so what i'm going to do today is create that hypothetical situation that i am actually finding an outsourcer or on the lookout for an outsourcer for my clients and then basically show you guys what i look for what kind of outsourcer i want what i ask in the job post and so on and so forth so as you can see we are on upwork uh, this is my agency account on upwork and this is where i'm basically going to show you what i look for and um basically how to create the job post etc so the first thing we need to do i've already done a quick side note so i, I done this three hours ago uh, just to get a few more proposals because if i post a job live for you guys then obviously no one's gonna um apply for the job in time for this video so i've already posted the job but i'm just going to show you guys how i did it so post the job is the first thing you need to do and then we can either create a new job post or reuse a previous post just to speed things up a bit i will do reuse previous job post um but it's literally the same thing just that way reuse it's already filled out for you so now if you create a new job post you'd have to type in what the job post is called in this case i just put looking for a e-commerce facebook ads expert on behalf of my agency why because 90 percent of my clients are in the e-com niche so the name of the job post, like I said, is already automatically filled in. Just waiting for this to load. Uh, I don't know why Upwork has been very, very slow these last few days. Um, but yeah, there we go. So looking for an e-com Facebook ads expert on behalf of my agency. Job category is digital marketing. We could have done e-com development, but digital marketing is basically the same thing. Okay, so the job post is the following. Feel free to copy and paste this. Um, do try and create your own because otherwise you just get a bunch of people uh, copying my job post um, on Upwork. And, you know, it's it's blatantly obvious that we would all just copy each other. So uh, make sure to give it a bit of your own, you know, put your own spin on it, basically. So looking for an e-com Facebook ads expert to work on behalf of my agency. Please include your per month fixed rate price. Um, this is because if we do actually outsource it, um, which we don't but hypothetically speaking we would want to know how much their retainer is so that we can 
know that when you know pitching other clients let's say the retainer for our media buyer is 500 then we know okay if we want a 50 percent profit margin we need to get our clients on a 1000 retainer in order to um you know still maintain the profit margin that we want for the successful candidates this will lead to a lot of work so please give your best price um just so it's not you know they realize okay we're in this for the long run it's not just basically um set and forget you know i do actually want to continuously provide this person with more clients looking for real experts so if you're not top of your game don't apply just a bit of a like a qualification type sentence just so we don't get people that don't have experience etc and i also say please show examples of previous work so business manager screenshots are a must we've all seen the excel sheet screenshots and stuff like that like i do not believe that in the slightest and even the business manager screenshots can you know be photoshopped etc but yeah, if you're going to show me a, a screenshot of an Excel tab that you've created yourself, um, I'm not even going to entertain it. So next, ongoing project. Um, just again, just so they know it's, it's something that is ongoing. And then here we can add screening questions. To be fair, I just leave the screening questions as is. Um, if you notice that you get a lot of people applying for these jobs, but they're not necessarily qualified, then you can add more questions um, just to make sure that people put in efforts if they want to apply for the job. I've just put, are you comfortable communicating directly with the clients? And just so, you know, um, you basically remove yourself as a bottleneck from that process. If we get a media buyer that tells you what to say to the clients, you know, you're constantly in the middle of those two and the media buyer knows what he's doing, right? So if he actually is the expert that he claims to be, then he's probably much better at explaining the process to the client directly. Um, and I do think that it just creates a bit more trust as well if the client can communicate directly with someone who is doing the media buying. Yes, always require a cover letter, by the way, as well, just so you know they can apply for the job and mention what their fixed price is. So next, then we select basically the skills. This is basically just to make sure that Upwork filter it in the proper way. So Facebook advertising, e-commerce is uh, basically what I filtered on. You can do Facebook, you can do, um, I don't know, whatever you want, paid media, social media advertising, etc. You know, that's It's completely up to you. Um, and then from there, I always go for intermediate. Why the experts are usually people that are very much aware of the price points that they can charge for their service. Entry level, you just get a bunch of people from third world countries that run pace like campaigns. Um, and you know, that's obviously not what we want. So intermediate, and then from here, who can see your job? Anyone doesn't really I I don't really care if it's on a work or not. Um I'm looking for one freelancer. You can do more than one freelancer if you want, but one freelance for me is enough. Then you've also got uh, people that you've previously worked with or worked alongside here. Um talent preferences for me, that's not necessarily a must. Then pay by the hour or pay by fixed price. I usually stick to pay by the hour. Why? Because if you do pay, uh, pay by fixed price, you need to give the fixed price. Um, I just like to see what people think they can charge or what people want to charge for this service. Um, in terms of the hour, hour range, just put don't add an hourly range to your job. How long will you expect this project to last? More than six months. Uh, do you have a time requirement for this project? More than 30 hours a week. It, it's one of them. If you put I don't know yet, you'll get a lot of people that don't necessarily have the time for it, etc. Less than 30 hours a week, you'll just get people that will set up one campaign and just forget about it. More than 30 hours a week, um, for me, has always been a good sort of option to pick. So this is what your job post looks like. Just quickly review it, and then if you're happy with it, click on post your job now. Um, like I said, I've already got the previous job post up. So what we'll do now is we will go back to that job post and just see what kind of proposals we have received. I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable, which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got two posts that are active. The one, the top one is created 40 seconds ago, which we've just done. And then we've got this one from three hours ago, which is the exact same post. But now we've gotten nine proposals. And what we're gonna do is just go through them one by one to see if there's any kind of potential here 
um, that we could potentially you know, work together with or for them to work alongside us. So let's see. We've got India, India, the Netherlands, interesting, India, India, uh, India, Pakistan, uh, Pakistan, India, okay. So unfortunately, we do not have any, uh, apart from the one guy in the Netherlands, we don't have any people from the UK or the US, which uh, is a shame. I do like to work with people from the UK because same time zone, etc. cetera. Um, it just really, I, in my opinion, you know, works in my benefit. So in terms of the the job posts themselves, what I usually look at is job success score, hourly rates, and then I just basically look at what Upwork recommends. So for example, this one is top rated, um, a beta S is top rated, can R is top rated, um, and then we've also got the boy Yoti, I think, uh, D, I probably mispronounced that name, but you get the point, right? That is what uh, I look like. So job success score and then uh, top rated. Then from there, what I usually do is just open all of these um, open new tabs. So I think if I click on the name, will it give me the cover letter? Yes, it does. So a beta S has given me a very long description of her experience with Facebook ads. As you mentioned here, fixed rate. So that, that's basically the question that I ask in the job post, just to make sure that she's not just copy and pasting, um, you know, this job post, which to be fair, it does look like she is doing. Um, let's see. Are you comfortable communicating directly with clients? She said yes, which is good. Good to know. However, I do not think she's mentioned anything about the fixed rate. No, she has not. So in terms of the post itself, she has provided us with some um, screenshots, which we'll take a look at. So from October 1st to November 9th, which is uh, just over a month, she's gotten free, free purchases for this client. Um, okay. I do not see a return ad spend. The click-through rate is extremely low as well. Um, yeah. See, in my opinion, this is not a very good campaign. I don't really understand why this is part of their portfolio. Like I said, three purchases in just over a month is extremely low. The outbound, or the, it's not even outbound, it's just the regular click-through rate is below 1%. Um, yeah, she spent over a 1,000 in ads and she's gotten three purchases. That is not what um, I would want to see in a portfolio. So the next one is October 1st to november 9th 2019 which is another weird thing right why are they all from a year ago um so she spent 5k on ads she's gotten doesn't say how many leads i can see a couple of leads to be fair so that's this is slightly better but again laser hair removal and liposuction the cost per lead hundred forty seven dollars sixteen dollars eighteen dollars forty two there's no consistency at all there um, to be fair, they are different campaigns, so maybe that is why laser hair removal might be more expensive. But come on, $147 for a one for one single lead, and it's a Facebook lead form as well, right? So these people, all they need to do is click on it, and uh, their information is automatically filled out, and all they need to do is click on confirm. So that is also, again, a bad job post, in my opinion, or job post um, you know, testimonial or portfolio piece. So last one, again from last year so fairly old um link clicks no idea why that is relevant so okay so she's optimized for link clicks so it's a traffic campaign she spends 3k on ads um yeah and she's gotten clicks <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's one of them right I, I i don't really i never understand why people optimize for link clicks and i, I there's no no metrics here that i can go off to say this is good or bad um so lifesaver spa and seo side check on facebook yeah, so in my opinion I don't, uh, she's got a 98 percent success success score as well so like the client must be happy I'm, I'm guessing let me see if she's got anything else she's got a pbc big boys garage toys client had shared clear picture with us typically they were converting every third phone call into sales and on average they had about 12 percent profit margin 12 percent profit margin Okay, um, so 12%, that means that they need a return ad spend of eight for this to even be profitable, uh, for, for them to break even. Um, 
solution provided we decided to analyze the old campaigns first to see what went wrong with those campaigns um oh actually this might not even be um let's see so phone calls so my apologies ignore what i said about the roas because it's not actually ecom it's um let me see what it is bigboysgaragetoys.com waiting for that to load Big Boys Garage Toys here's with something that is not allowed on Facebook. Um, viewer discretion is advised. Let me see if what comes up. So end result, we finally, we achieved more than whatever we had promised. We were getting a phone call at $30 and direct website sales at 80. Cost per purchase was $80, guys. So I'm very curious to see if this page even loads what the price point is. Okay, so the average cost per product was 2500 So, for every product that they sold, um, they earned $300. If they were getting a cost of purchase uh, for $80, then yes, there is a, a small profit margin there, which, okay, fair enough. Um, so, yeah, CPA 80 300 profit which is yeah profitable no i don't understand where the sales come into or the, the calls come into it but okay fair enough um that doesn't seem to load might might even be a fake website you know you never know but okay it's not someone i would like to work with i'm just not convinced by it she's got top rated she got a 98 percent uh score but in my opinion, it's just not good enough for my agency. Then we've got an 83% success score, uh, Facebook expert media buyer. Let me just quickly click on this. I won't go through them all as in-depth as I just did. Um, so this guy has read the job post. He, he said $500 per month. So again, like I said, if you are charging a 1,500 retainer or 1,000 retainer even, you're still taking on 50% profit margin. So let's see what these screenshots look like. <laughs> it's just a screenshot of the business manager. Uh, you know, he, he could easily have just created 50 business managers through different accounts and added them all together. So that, for me, is not in any way, shape, or form impressive. Then we've got an extremely blurry job post uh, or uh, screenshot. All spend 25 a day. A low CPM, but that could also mean that he's in, you know, running ads in Pakistan, for example. He's getting purchases. He's getting a 31 row. It's like, that is... This is what I mean. So that for me is much more impressive than um, the previous one. So a 31 ROAS. Let's see what else. His click-through rate is above 1%, which is good. No, um, See, what I like about this guy, he's added add to cart and initiate checkout and purchases. So you can see what's going on through the flow. So 394 clicks, 103 initiate checkouts, 392 add to carts and 51 purchases and then the average cost of purchase is seven i think it's euros i can't really see properly and then we've got a 31 roas see that is impressive um or much more impressive than the previous one so that is good and then we've got screenshot number two just zoom out a bit um 2020 he spent a thousand got 220 purchases a pages conversion value of uh, 10,000 so that is a 10 return on ad spend which is good see that is much more impressive than um, what we've seen previously I've said that about four times and I'm sound like a broken record and with this one ad account one person zero ad accounts one person one ad account two people these've got nothing so like I said you know this for me is nothing um, the screenshots are more impressive so what I will do is I will give this person a thumbs up and just add them to like the source of shortlist. Okay, so like I said, I won't be going through all these as um, in depth as the last one, but let me just see. If they don't f give me a uh, retainer, I'll just automatically decline them. So this person said four hundred dollars a month, but has got no um, no screenshots. We'll quickly go over the portfolio. See what he's got. Okay, so this is just posts. To be fair, that looks quite nice, but um, yeah, so that's nothing. So my apologies there. Gupreet has a 98% score. 
recent work, just sent Facebook pages. Let's see Facebook ad performance. 15 a day, four leads, okay. That doesn't say anything really. Has she give me a fixed price? She has not, okay. My apologies, but you are not a right fit. 102 spent, six leads, lead generation, no campaign. I don't know what the time frame, anything like that. So again, not a right fit. Facebook ads manager, leads again, never mind. Uh, bear in mind, guys, it says ecom in my um, job post. So I don't really understand why they show me lead generation uh, screenshots. So Gupreet, you are not a right fit for me. Then we've got Shiwali from India. Has she given me a fixed price? No, 84% success score as well. Just purely out of entertainment. I'll click on a few of these screenshots, but not a right fit. Traffic campaign, automatic turn off, never mind. Okay, Aman has got a 89% score. Let's see, what is the fixed price? Let's talk less. Let's talk less. Okay. Um, screenshot of total sales. Returning customer rate 2%. Total sales again. Doesn't really say much about his ad performance. Screenshot of sales conversions. Okay, so 358 purchases. In what time frame? Is that over 10 years? Is that over two years? Um, he spent 13k. What is the return on ad spend? What is the pages conversion value? You know, it's all these incomplete screenshots just to look impressive, but you are not fooling me. Facebook ads revenue. Again, how do I know this has come from Facebook? I'm not being like I'm not trying to do this to bash these people by the way. I'm genuinely trying to find someone who's who's impressive and who's gonna be a right fit for this agency. Um but as you can see guys like there are a lot of people out there that will say they are a Facebook ads expert but when you actually look at the results that they've gotten it's not as impressive as they should be. Um so be really thorough when you go through all of this um just to make sure that you know, um, you're not just going for cheap and cheerful. You know, I would rather pay, for example, Mark 20 euros an hour than um, who we've just, you know, interviewed for $5 an hour if provided that Mark gets better results, right? So that is basically how I go through everything. So Mark um, has done it in Dutch as well, which um, for me is an automatic plus point, not because necessarily I'm from the Netherlands, but this person has seen that I am based in the Netherlands and he's basically connected to the, you know, put two and two together and basically concluded that I speak Dutch. So just by speaking Dutch, uh, this guy is already showing that he's much more on the ball than these other people. I've just translated to English, but just like I said, bear in mind that this is all in Dutch. So he said, the consultation with the customer to generate the right advertising strategy and the highest possible conversion is a task that I find fun and challenging to do. To achieve good results, this must be discussed with the customer so that both support the children. Okay, so basically he's saying he's happy to speak to the client. So uh, see your ad and it fits perfectly with the services that I provide for my agency. I will introduce myself briefly. Mark, 37 years old, living together with two kids. At the moment, I am working as a financial controller at a healthcare institution. I run my own social media marketing agency in the Netherlands. SMMA is called SMMB, which stands for Social Media Marketing Bureau. Um, so that is why it says SMMB here. In the evenings, Fridays, and weekends, he works on his agency. My goal is to work full-time on my own business. Interesting. I gained the knowledge in the field of social media marketing through targeted courses such as Dropship Academy and the SMMB Masterclass. Um, I don't know what the SMMB Masterclass is, but Dropship Academy is a very well-known sort of uh, online course on dropshipping. With this knowledge, I've built a web shop from scratch and achieved 1k sales per week through Facebook ads. That is impressive. Currently running the ads for a catering company and get a ROAS of 7. That's good. Um, okay, that is interesting. Mark has not given me a fixed price and he has not provided me with any screenshots of his, um, of his talents, basically. But all in all, it's been a, a much more impressive um, job post. So Kakan and Mark get a thumbs up. Slightly biased because this guy's from the Netherlands, obviously, and he seems like a genuine cool guy. But um, the only downside to Mark... At the moment is that no screenshots and no fixed price so 
Uh, also, he's earned nothing on Upwork, which, um, in my opinion, doesn't necessarily mean that he's not a right fit. But, you know, it is something that I do take into consideration is, okay, what is the success score of that person um, on Upwork? Okay, so we've got the, the, this guy. Let's see. Um, where is the fixed price? Optimizations checks that I will undertake, remarketing and retargeting. Okay, let's just let's just skip that one. I'm not even gonna entertain this one. Okay, and then we've got Naveen who's got an eighty seven percent score. Um No screenshots, no fixed price, copy and paste, nothing. Okay, so we are left with two people, which is Mark and Kakan. What I will also do, so when you put up a job post on Upwork, you can also um, invite people yourself. I'll just go through a few here that are from the UK and the US and just basically show you guys um, what I look for, etc. So we've got... Um, Michael is from Cyprus. We got Camel uh, from the US. Let me just see if she's any good at what she does. 247 an hour. Um, starting at 2500 a month. So if you charge like 5k a retainer, then you know she could be a right fit. Or if you're really, really in in the shit in terms of ad results and you just want someone to come in and, and redo it all then she could be a good fit as well facebook instagram ad experts for shopify stores double your roas she's got a video which i think is really cool as well are you a business owner that is sick of wasting time trying to figure out facebook ads on your own take your ad campaign from floundering to thriving with a facebook ad account analysis by Tintel digital marketing when you buy a Facebook ad account analysis, we share exactly what is working, what isn't working, and what B is proven Facebook ads. Never mind. I thought she was going to show results, but it's just a, a mini sales pitch. Um, what we'll do is we'll quickly go through the portfolio. Five hacks for doubling your return on ad spend. That's good value videos. I like that. That's interesting. I might even do that myself. Um, let's see what this is. 62k revenue from 9k ad spend that is interesting that is definitely good so she had a 0.65 ROAS before and then while she was working and helping them out she had a ROAS of above four okay that is interesting so as you can see this is much better than what we've been getting and the reason why um does it say what she is expert or intermediate it doesn't but you know this is the difference between paying cheap and going, you know, for someone that is more expensive but will get you the results. And it's up to you. If you want to go cheap and cheerful, just know that the results might not be there as opposed to if you do go all out and, um, you know, pay top dollar for someone that will get the results. With that said, there are also a lot of people on Upwork that are not really aware of how much they can charge. So you will find little gems if you go for cheap and cheerful. But just, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, you do get what you pay for. So we'll do one last one before we wrap this up. It's Tiago with a 100% success score from London. 4.43 ROAS. Um, on the second month, after struggling to get results for months. He's got a lot of five-star ratings as well, which I think is very good. Let's see. A 3.33 return. Client story. Oh, wow. So this is actually a video testimonial that is very good um tiago is the most knowledgeable person i came across about digital marketing overall i didn't have a proper way to generate leads for my sales and my business but after working with tiago i can acquire clients without having to waste much time and waste uh, chasing them okay so he's got good results he's got portfolio material as you can see um he's got a lot of work history um no portfolio material in terms of screenshots which is a bit of a shame but like I said, though those screenshots can also be photoshopped. So just take that into consideration when you're looking for a media buyer. Help the Shopify store mom mom niche uh, that was struggling for Facebook ads to a five times return with 10k spends within one month, 500 percent return on investment. Linked in the portfolio section. Okay. Let's have a look. The mom niche. Let's see if you can find it. 
unless it was that one what was it what was the return that's went 500 percent so a five roas i'll open that in a new tab 4.8 i think it actually might be that one with 10k spend right um, Can't really see it all together, but let's just see what's in this portfolio. It's blocked. Okay, then unfortunately we cannot just view that. Um, but that is impressive. So that is basically what I want to see, right? I want to see screenshots. I want to see what the business manager looks like, and then when I get the, if, let's say hypothetically speaking, you know, I do want to outsource this. I want to get Tiago on a call. I will get him to, you know, literally show me the business manager. Um, and walk me through what he would do on particular campaigns and what he has done and what i'll then also do before i hire this person is i will give him analyst access to one of the clients and i'll ask him for a strategy and then basically based on what he says i can get a bit of an indication whether or not this guy is legit or if he's um talking shit basically but um, this, you know, that was basically just how I would go through the process i'm not saying tiago is shit um from his portfolio he's actually probably a, a better expert in facebook ads etc than i am um so this guy looks like he is legit he's the real deal so um that is basically how i just go through the whole process of hiring clients or hiring media buyers for my agency if that is what i want to do going forward so that is it for today's video hope you got some out of this hope you enjoyed this video hope you got a bit more of an insight into how the whole outsourcing process goes if you like this video please leave away a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more because it really does help this channel grow and i am uploading on a very consistent basis at least two times a week so that is all for today thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next video